Today we are going to look at an IELTS writing task 2 question and I'm going to show you how to analyze it, plan your answer and then write a fantastic essay. We'll look at this in three parts. First of all, we need to analyze the question so that we can answer it properly. If you just look at the question quickly, you will not fully understand it and so you will not be able to write a good answer. Every IELTS question will have two parts. There is the statement and the task. The task will depend on the type of question. If it is a two-part question, for example, it would look quite different from this one. We need to look at both parts of the question and find the keywords. These can help us to decide what we are supposed to write about and what sort of thing we need to say. We can see here the two most important parts of the question. In this statement, you need to look for the main idea, which in this case is that people are visiting these extreme places. In the task, you should look for the type of question and what that requires you to do. In this case, you're going to discuss advantages and disadvantages. You should start by putting your ideas down on paper. This can be helpful because it allows you to create a strong structure for your essay. Here we can see four ideas for advantages and four ideas for disadvantages. It is okay to note down several ideas, but please remember that you are not writing a thousand word essay. You do not have space to discuss all of these, so you should keep it short. Just one or two ideas is ideal. You can start by removing the weakest ones. Only include ideas that you feel confident about discussing at length. Your essay structure should be simple. Don't waste too much time planning it. It must contain an introduction, a conclusion, and two or three body paragraphs. For an advantage-disadvantage question, it is pretty easy to structure. You can just put the advantages in one body paragraph and the disadvantages in another. We can then begin planning our answer by building body paragraphs around our best arguments. As I have said before, we should use just one or two. If you list ideas, you will not be able to provide sufficient development and that is essential for a good score. Once you have chosen the point that you want to make, you can develop it further. This could involve explaining more clearly or giving an example. You can see here what my plan would look like. In body paragraph one, I will discuss just one advantage, but I will give lots of explanation. I will state an example, but then relate it clearly back to the main point. In the next paragraph, I will give one disadvantage, explain it at length, and then provide one more. Let's now look at body paragraph one and see how I would arrange the internal paragraph structure of this part of the essay. Here is how I would arrange my paragraph. Remember that this is not the only way to do it. It is just one possible way. I would, of course, start with a topic sentence that introduces the main idea of the paragraph. Next, we have two sentences that explain this idea a little more. Note the references that allow me to avoid repetition. This sort of language helps increase the logical flow of your writing and make the meaning perfectly clear. Next, I will give an example and then explain it a little before I finally wrap up the paragraph with two sentences that tie the example to my main point. Once you have planned your essay, you should write it carefully. Stick to the plan so that you don't go off topic. Leave yourself plenty of time so that you can check your answer at the end. If you go to my website, you can find free PDF documents to help you plan your essay and check your answer for mistakes. Just go to tedielts.com and click on free IELTS resources. Here is my sample band 9 answer to this question. 
If the text is too small to read from the screen, you can find the answer on my website. I will put the link in the description below.